Hey everybody, you guys doing well? Um, so uh, this is a, I do a lot of side projects and uh, so this is actually a side project to basically monitor another side project that I did. Um, so uh, so um, yeah, it actually wasn't done at CloudOps at all, but uh, that's okay. Um, so what is it? Basically what this does is it is a, uh, um, it is a kind of like monitoring tool that uh, whenever you get a match in a log file, it will send a message to you on Slack. And basically, um, so it looks something along the lines of this. Um, it, this is uh, an example match of uh, that it that it gives. So. Basically, what it's doing is it is matching on regular expressions, and it there's two different types of uh, matches that will that will throw off. Basically, if a line includes a regex or if a line does not include regex, and that will basically look something like this. So this is uh, what I use in my application. Basically, if it includes a uh, case insensitive error or if it doesn't start with a uh, timestamp, you know, like for those stack traces and stuff. <laughs> um, and uh, this one's really nice because uh, you can basically just trigger anything. If you want anything to be, uh, to be logged, you basically just can say error and you can and print just a single line. Or if you want to print the whole context, you can just do a new line in your log and it will print the whole context of what you want. So for example, here I printed like error and then here is the whole context of the error and of the of what was going on when it erred. Um, so why would I build something like this? Isn't there tools that do this? Well, there's a there are most of the tools that do like alerting and logging and that kind of stuff uh, based on on your application. They they care about your patterns. So like if you think of uh, Logstash for example, you have to build out a pattern about what you expect uh, in the log, and then it gives you a whole bunch of stuff and a whole bunch of value if you are getting information that you know what you're going to get. But a lot of them suck at anomalies. So if you want to be able to only care about like when your application is not behaving the way you want it to, then a lot of the, a lot of them are like, well, I don't really know how to do that because you didn't train me to deal with anomalies. You trained me to deal with what you expect, which as a developer is useless because as a developer, I want to know and I want to be able to tap into when my application isn't behaving, not when it is behaving. And so I also wanted to make sure that I could easily, like, very easily just push a new piece of code and have it automatically be pushing new uh, new stuff to me. So being able to easily manipulate it, um, I didn't want to have to deal with any dependencies, thus go. So being able to just uh, uh, throw it up there, have it launch on uh, RC local and forget about it, that's kind of how I want to deal with it. And I already use Slack, so I'm sitting there on Slack and it pops up and I'm like, all right, that's uh, I, it already is in my workflow. So this is a use case. I built this, uh, this website. Basically what it does is you put in the layout for, a, uh, for a, a keyboard and it basically draws CAD for you. So it outputs something like this. This is if I'm also a hobbyist on like... Uh, basically building my own keyboard. So this is a keyboard that I designed that uh, uh, that I basically uh, uh, did with this. So I manipulate SVGs uh, with this and uh, I use this library for doing uh, binary operations on my SVGs. This library could use some help. Um, there are I know that uh, doing unions and, uh, and exclusion and stuff like that is not the easiest uh, operation and there's a lot of different uh, 
a lot of different algorithms. Some of them are good, some of them are not. There's a lot of edge cases and stuff like that. And when there were failures, it was really annoying because, like, what's going on here? Why did this fail? Like, is this no, these things intersect. <laughs> what happened? And uh, so basically, I was tracking down situations like this. So I have a switch. It looks like this. I have a stabilizer. It looks like this. And the union is empty. Why? And so I needed to basically have an easy way to be able to like basically output so that I could grab later what all of the uh, the failed instances were so that I could basically just um, run when I when I changed my uh, my union algorithm then I would just have like a way to basically grab all the the fail cases and and uh, and be able to to rerun so that is basically why I built it. It's freely available. You can use it. It's really easy to use. That's pretty much it. You pretty much just say what channel you want it to go to. Config is just because uh, I'm using, uh, I think I'm using Ionite flag. Um, the file to watch, just any random log file. It's a text file, doesn't care. Um, and then your Basically, it does not match and does match, and then your Slack token, and that's it. You basically throw that in a, in your rc.local, and it will run and send you uh, alerts whenever it finds anything interesting. And that's it. I'm trying to keep it keep it uh, close, uh, keep it uh, short. Um, so, any questions? Yeah, currently only one file at a time. There's no reason that you couldn't uh, spin up multiple instances and have uh, them looking at uh, each looking at their own file. So, um, yeah, in this case, it's one file at a time, but uh, it'd be very easy to extend it to, to do multiple files, or you can just spin up multiple instances of it and, and have it uh, uh, look at multiple files. Anybody else? All right, making sure that we stay on track. <laughs>